In the next two videos, we're going to create a few assets to help ground this building. This will include ground planes and sidewalk. In this video, we'll create the sidewalk. It will include two pieces, one straight and a corner piece. Both will be modular, meaning we'll be able to duplicate and reuse these pieces. So let's begin. We're going to begin with a straight sidewalk piece first. So create a cube and we're going to drag it out here in front of the building. Set width to 260, height to 20, and depth to 200. Modify the pivot point to be at a top corner vertex. And this is the size of our straight sidewalk. This is good scale and it's very proportionate to the building. Let's define where the curb is going to be. So we're going to insert an edge loop in the front of the sidewalk, 20 units in. Our grid spacing is set to 5, so we are at 20 units in. Then let's grab the front edge and drag it in 5 units to create a slight angle so it's not a flat 90 degree angle. Let's temporarily disable the grid so we can see better by clicking on this icon and delete faces on the sides bottom and back. We're not going to need them. So all we are left with is this shape. Now select the top front edge and press Ctrl B to bevel. Set fraction to 0.15. This creates nice additional detail for the front of the curb and at a very low cost of just having one more polygon. Let's duplicate it a couple of times to see how these pieces fit together. And that's looking good. Delete history, and we are now done with the straight sidewalk. Next, we're going to create the corner piece. Let's increase the grid spacing back up to 10, and I'm going to position the straight sidewalk so the top and the side edges line up with the edges of the building. These edges here. Duplicate this mesh, and then duplicate again, rotating this piece 90 degrees, and snap in the top corner to the mesh right next to it. We'll be using these two objects to create the corner piece. So make sure you have the duplicated straight sidewalk because we'll be deleting these faces after we create the corner. Select these two meshes and combine them so they are a single object. Then we want to insert an edge loop right exactly in the middle of the two faces on top. So go to insert edge loop tool options switch to multiple edge loops, use equal multiplier, and change number of edge loops to one. Insert one edge loop here, and another one here. The reason we're doing this is so we can properly bridge and create the corner. If we don't insert an edge, we would not be able to properly bridge. Let me quickly show you what would happen if we bridge without inserting an edge. Here are the two combined pieces. Prior to having inserted an edge, and I'm going to select these inner edges and bridge. Let's change to blend and increase the divisions to 10. You can see that this creates errors in our geometry and it's not usable. We could fix it, but the way we are going to do it will work a lot better. So select these inner four edges on each side, but not the two corner edges. Then bridge. Set curve type to blend and increase divisions to 10. This creates a very nice curved corner. For the gap, we're going to do something a bit different. We will end up using this piece, the slow poly mesh, to generate our high poly mesh. So in order to make this high poly mesh creation simpler, we have to be aware and mindful of the topology, how these edges will flow to make it easier for us to insert support edges on the high poly mesh. And this will make more sense when we get to it. So right now we're going to extrude this edge and also extrude this edge. Then go to top view and snap the vertices to align them to the grid. So we have a square right here in the corner. We need to take care of a few overlapping vertices. So I'm going to select them and merge them. And now we can delete the straight sidewalk pieces on each side. We no longer need them. So all we are left with is the corner piece. 
switch over to object component mode, enable append to polygon, and create the faces for the inside gap. Now let's extrude an edge to create geometry for this corner. Make sure to snap it to the grid and merge overlap inverses. This mesh does have a lot of triangles for such a simple piece, but we'll optimize it later. Let's enable the visibility of soft edges and soften all the hard edges at the top. So I'm going to select them and soften edge. Make sure to modify the pivot point to be at this corner vertex. And we are now done with the corner piece. Let's move the straight sidewalk next to the curved sidewalk and see how they fit together. And everything is lining up perfectly. And now we're going to export these two pieces to test inside Unreal Engine 4. We need to move each mesh at its pivot point to world origin at 000 space before exporting. So we're going to start with straight sidewalk first, move it to world origin, delete history, freeze transformations, and export. Navigate into exported meshes folder, gonna assign the name to sidewalk underscore straight, and export as FBX with the same options as we used for the main building. Let's move it back and repeat the same steps for the corner. Position the mesh at its pivot point at the world origin, delete history, freeze transformations, and export. We're going to name this one sidewalk underscore corner and export selection. Let's bring it back and because we've freezed transformations we'll be able to zero out our translation and always bring these meshes back to world origin to export with any updates. Let's jump into Unreal Engine 4 and import. Make sure to select the static meshes folder and click import. Navigate into your Maya LT project directory into export the meshes folder if it doesn't open up into it already. Select both sidewalks and click open. We're going to use the same import options as before, but to run through them again really quick, make sure you disable auto generate collision, disable generate light map UVs, let's disable combine meshes, and make sure to disable import textures and materials, and then click on import all. We're going to create our sidewalk in front and to the side of the building. So let's insert both static meshes into the level and they're going to be inside the ground plane. So instead of raising the entire building and all of our scale mannequins, we're going to select the ground planes and lower them 20 units to create the space for our sidewalk. Now let's duplicate and position our sidewalks. I'm going to place the corner piece so it's aligned on each side of the building. That way the straight pieces are also aligned when we duplicate them. So once we have this corner created, we can begin to duplicate the straight pieces across. So I'm going to select one, hold Alt, left click, hold and drag to duplicate the static mesh. Then do the same thing for the side. We now have our sidewalk. Last step, go to File and Save All.